it's not just any tear television. It is the first tear television of the new year. Bum, 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 bum. Lots of news happening now that everyone is back from the holidays. So let's get to it. The trailer for the first Omen dropped this week. And as we are going back in time for this one, it's a prequel. This particular trailer is pretty fitting. It has some imagery that is very likely to stick with, i.e. haunt you for a bit. The first Omen is out April 5th, but you can watch the trailer right now. We also have the Lisa Frankenstein trailer this week. Zelda Williams and Diablo Cody's horror comedy is taking us back to the 80s. Starring Katherine Newton and Cole Sprouse, we love you both. This is a goth teen dream and it will be in theaters February 9th, just in time for Valentine's Day. Of Corpse, you can read more about Lisa Frankenstein in Fangoria issue 22, which is hitting subscriber mailboxes as we speak, and it will be on newsstands soon. Two of the heaviest hitters in horror, Blumhouse and Atomic Monster, have officially joined forces and are now living under one roof. What do you think they're getting up to over there? I like to think of it as like a wild, horrific slumber party. James Wan and Jason Blum have said that the partnership will encourage greater collaboration between the two and could mark an uptick in output as well. Their latest collab just hit theaters. You can dive into Night Swim this weekend and you can read more about that in the latest issue of Fangoria. It's always a good day when we come to you bearing tidings of Cronenberg news. Today we bring you a first look at Cronenberg's new movie, The Shrouds. The story focuses on a new technology that allows users to convene with the dead, and there's nothing that could possibly go wrong with that. If you're in DC on January 6th, this message is especially for you. A special Founders Day screening will be happening in DC on January 6th, and the movie opens wide on January 19th. 2023 was an embarrassment of riches in the realm of genre fair. We have our Fango staff picks over on the site for your reminiscing and in case you missed it pleasure, along with all the horror movies and video games we're excited for in this new year. I know I'm behind the times, uh, but I finally got to play The Quarry and only three counselors survived. I don't know, is that good or bad? It feels bad, uh, but also by horror movie standards, three survivors, doesn't feel so bad. Fangoria issue 22 hits newsstands soon. You can find that in your local comic book shops, your Barnes and Noble, and you can also pre-order it right now in the Fango shop. This is the subscriber cover making its way to your mailboxes right now if you don't already have it in your hot little hands. You can't quite see it on camera, but this is an extra fancy cover. I know I'm a little bit biased on this one for nostalgic reasons, but that aside, it is a gorgeous cover. It's got this nice little gloss happening. If you're subscribed, expect this in your mailbox shortly. If you're not subscribed, maybe subscribe, but also you can head down and get the newsstand cover pretty soon. And speaking of the shop, we have your winter merch covered. We got your hoodies, we got your beanies, we got your sweatshirts, your insulated travel tumblers, all awaiting you in the store right now. Cheers to a new year. I hope 2024 is kind to you and that you are kind to the folks around you. We are all very excited to embark upon a new year of horror with you. Have a wonderful weekend, a beautiful week, and we will catch you next time for more The Terror Television. You're born. Born's.